Popo's Bizarre Adventures today. Um, weird email. What's up, Caboose? Karina. Uh, base for the generated map. It's a police station. <laughs> Bloated tanky pig. Yeah, I saw the photo you posted. Uh, <laughs> Kaiser, peace be, ato- be upon you. Uh, Welcome, like Salam. Um, the brain that was up, uh, peaky name song. Uh, anyway, still kind of tired, but I got my, uh, I got a little bit of like flexibility yoga work in and then I'll do some weights tonight, but what's up? What's up, Cassie? Um, I swear I said Cassie. I just fucking slid over that D. <laughs> uh, so, um, <laughs> good news, everyone. Um, the shooter in California, at least, wasn't us. <laughs> By us, I mean white boys. Um, dude, the, the church shooter in California was a pissed off Chinese national um, at Taiwan. It was a Taiwanese church. Um, it was a Taiwanese church or heavily, heavily populated by Taiwanese, uh, church and a Chinese national from Las Vegas drove all the way over there to California to like barricade the doors and try and shoot the place up. I was like, holy shit. That's, that's some, that's some shit. Uh, (laughs) AJ finally not one of us. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) Guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, holy shit, a fucking Chinese national shooting up a Taiwanese church. Like, it's just starting to pop off, I guess. Oh, fucking. If I had half that motivation in the day, right, Marcus? Dude, he like left Las Vegas, drove over to California, like bolted and like. And screwed that like chained and screwed the doors shut and shit and tried to like how nobody noticed this motherfucker like chaining their doors shut like excuse me sir what's going on you know 
Uh, imagine being pissed off at the existence of Taiwan. I mean, China's pissed off at the existence of Taiwan. Dude, they'll make you fucking apologize. John Cena. Oh, fucking dude. And it's not some racist shit I'm doing. I'm saying John Cena straight up was doing a fucking apology to her in Mandarin because he dared call Taiwan a country. Just he, he said country, the country of Taiwan or something. Next thing you know, John Cena's got some Mao ass haircut. And he's on fucking Chinese social media in a not half bad Mandarin fucking apology to her. Fuck that shit was. Man. Fucking. So. Yeah, they'll they'll drag you over the coals just for letting that slip. Um I used to have I still do somewhere. Um Let's see. Let's see if I still have it. I mean, I'm guaranteed to. It's just a matter of finding the uh, uh, the script. How to say no to a billion dollars? I I did um, I did a story that was talking that culminated in LeBron James and the you know yeah Glazy he makes a lot of money there. So. I, 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 I've done a script where I'm like, yeah, other people have turned down insane amounts of money in far worse conditions than they were than John Cena is in his life. Um, fucking douchebag. I hit his hair. The dye does not look right. I, I, you know, yeah, his Mandarin actually was pretty decent cupcake. Like it was surprising how, how halfway decent John Cena's fucking Mandarin was, uh, and that shitty apology he gave. <laughs> I, I, you know, I fucking, I love China and the Chinese people and I did not mean to offend and like, oh, it's like, oh, fucking prostrate yourself before them even more, you bootlicking supplicant. <clears throat> you culminated in LeBron James. Am I the only black man you've not had sex with? There's a joke about you not being black enough, Marcus, somewhere in there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> something, 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 attorney, something, something, sell out. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. There's a joke in there somewhere though. You can figure it out yourself. Um, yeah, no, it's like, which was actually kind of impressive. It's like, Jesus, but, uh, fuck him either way. Um, which one is this? Oh, yeah, I remember her. This is zippy. So I wanted to show you this chart. I found this chart interesting. Did I copy the image again instead of the fucking address? I think I did. Jesus Christ. I did that a few times last week and it was driving me insane. <clears throat> Share of men under age 30 who report zero female sexual partners since they turned 18. Now, granted, I have no controls for homosexuality. I have no controls for asexuality. I have no controls. But, I mean, even as a gay man, look, we're the minority. Just fucking write that off as a statistical outlier. Um, and this gets interesting, actually. Because that was in 2018. That's pre-COVID. COVID only made this worse. Yeah, but Peaky caught that too before COVID, right? Well, uh, Kaiser volunteering to fix this. I thought you had a boyfriend, Kaiser. I see how you are, you hussy. Uh, Marcus, how dare you? This accent totally fits with being raised in Philly like a hood Negro. I feel that's. I feel like that's the wrong term. <laughs> Probably, Marcus, if you don't want to throw your entire population under the bus with one turn of phrase. Uh, beast, yeah, I remember seeing this passed around by incels. Yeah, I found this number fascinating. I, I was like, holy shit. That's... Um, tech support, there's a like straight up one. Um, if you use a Chrome based, um, 
you should have a link on the server. Uh, either way, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to think of that, but I mean, that's a lot of people who probably desire companionship in some form or fashion that aren't receiving companionship in some form or fashion, and it is glazy, it is. I actually do have a lot of fucking sympathy for straight dudes. It's a lot of fucking work. It's a lot of fucking work. I, I get pissed off if I can't get dick within the hour. I'm not shitting you. I'm like, I'm, I'm like literally like it's fast food delivery up in this bitch. If I can't get dick within the hour, I'm annoyed. Right? Like if I have to wait till the next day. Ugh. Fuck you. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like I, 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 I legitimately sympathize with straight dudes. Uh, you're a Firefox man. It hurts sometimes, but I love what they try to be. It's fine tech support. It's just like, I have a quick and easy solution for you for if you're on Chrome. Uh, have a job and don't be creepy. Boom. I do, I really don't think it's that easy. I really don't think it's that, e uh, that easy. I, I, yeah. Um, men's ability to drop, just drop that stress builds on them. I mean, hmm. I wonder how much of that is just an uptick in antidepressant use. Like, yeah, I have to set aside a time in my schedule for porn. Marcus, that... Kaiser, it is. The easiest solution. I mean, the Glazy said... Glazy beat you to it. Glazy said, either have to be hot or make money, really. Um, and Kaiser, isn't the easiest solution, really? Is just not be ugly? Um, yeah. Uh, it's rough. It's rough out there like a motherfucker. I have sympathy for my, my straight brothers. Um, fair enough, tech support. Yeah, if fucking, if here's a your woman checking in here. Fucking, f fucking, um, it's not that easy. Women have ha standards higher than that. <laughs> fucking, having a job just gets you enough to fix that number. Usually takes up so much time that you can't get late. You usually can't get late anyway. Um, Fucking <laughs> run that shit back until it's pure orgone and absorb that too. Come <laughs> on, uh, just don't be creepy is the most belittling phrase. Yeah, what are they doing this creepy? And would it still be creepy if it was a nine or a ten? No, it wouldn't. It never is. Yeah. It's, it's see, public with the fucking big brain takes. Public always, I can always count on public with the fucking galaxy brain takes. Straight up. Public said just, you just need an ugly friend to keep nearby so you look more attractive by comparison. Public knows what's up. <clears throat> They're a thinker. Um, for me, I've always placed education before my social life, but I'm also a chick and... <clears throat> God damn it. Crimson, that's twice now that you've reminded us that you're a chick, like, within the last week. And at both times, I'm like, it catches me off guard. It's like, that's right, Crimson's a chick. Um, but I'm also a chick. And, you, and no, I'm usually an outlier when it comes to these kinds of things. Oh, Caboose. We're going to fucking... I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Um... Honestly, it's kind of hard to bother with that whole part of life when bear survival takes 60 hours a week minimum. See, that's what I'm in camp. I'm in that camp, tech support. Capitalism has basically run roughshod over the, the members of society. And it's like, given the other factors, given how much work it takes for a straight dude to get laid, who's not a 9 or a 10 and worth a pretty penny, right? If you're not pulling in top six figures, seven figures, and you're not a 9 or a 10... And you're not like super experienced on how to just pull. Um, it takes work. You gotta fucking you gotta put the traps out, man. You gotta you gotta spend time baiting and fucking placing those traps. Uh, and so like it takes it takes time and effort. And given the capitalist grind, who's got time? Who's got the energy? Um. <clears throat> best recommendation ever to give my uh, nerdy awkward guy friends let their chick friends or gay guy friends give them a makeover and play wingman yeah I don't do the makeover but I will definitely be a good wingman 
Oh, it's multiple factors like everything is <laughs> capitalist hellscape. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Kvass, I have it under excellent authority that it is not okay to not produce, uh, produce offspring. Glazy, <laughs> but my legacy. <laughs> oh, I'm not even laughing at you, Glazy. I'm just laughing at the idea of fucking straights and their stupid fucking biological legacies. Um... Thoughts on marrying someone from overseas? Like, give me more context, Boom. Like, are we talking, like, Praxis green card marriage? Are we talking about, I'm just going to roll the dice? Uh, are we talking about importing an, uh, you know, a Thai woman for yourself? Are we talking, like, Russian bride? Are we talking, like, I have a long-time girlfriend, boyfriend, partner who's lived overseas and blah, blah, blah. Like, I need details, man. At $2,000 and she ships free. Um... <laughs> may I offer the, may I offer the ma'am uh, omakase of dick for you this evening? Um... What's up, Gott? All of those keck. Well, fucking, you have to pick some. Pick one, pick some. I'm not doing all of them. Um, I wonder if there's any research on how different age groups perceive an anonymous person's gender, especially online. See, Crimson, I don't even perceive gender. Like, I've, I'm, I was born of the internet, right? I came of age of the internet. Like, I, I just, you're just a name. You, you like, that's the thing. Like you, you, you people have traits that I associate with you, but like, unless I know explicitly certain things, it's just, you're just a nebulous entity. You're a part of the hive mind and the hive mind doesn't have necessarily genders associated with it in my brain. Um, yeah, we're all ones and zeros. Yes. Public is correct. In my brain, you're all just ones and zeros. Like, unless I know otherwise, yeah. Yeah, it just it just doesn't even default. Like it's just it's like yeah, whatever. Everyone is either an adult male or a cop. <laughs> uh, men aren't, dude. They, dude, calling a man creepy. Glazy's right about that. Men are scared of being called creepy. Being called creepy as a man is like that shit sticks. That shit sticks in an office environment, especially. Uh, I am tech support. Such has no gender. Uh, yes, it does. Tech support. Uh, traditionally, the gender of uh, tech support within IT within IT would be eunuch. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I run by the 4chan logic of genders online. Everyone is a dude, and the females are the FBI. Um, <clears throat> is it hard not to find some guy that isn't creepy? That is the most, like, misandrous statement I've heard in a minute, Nixa. Congratulations. If a dude said, uh, is it, is it, what would be the equivalent? Um, it's hard not to find, uh, it's hard not to find some chick who's a bitch. Right? Like, that's, that's kind of the flip of that. Um... You mean Unix, right? <laughs> Caleb. Yes. Um, <clears throat> fucking public, in all fairness, Glazy kind of getting some points proven here. Glazy, no, if you approach a woman and shoot your shot, there's a solid chance they'll think you're creepy. But if a woman shoots her shot, man won't say anything like that. It's true. That's fair, Karina. Uh, honestly, people are always they, them in my mind until proven otherwise, but I know older generations tend to assume instead of just putting them in the unknown category. Uh, Marcus, I mentioned a high school friend to someone from a totally different friend group. She went, oh, Rapey Dave? <clears throat> he was on my freshman floor. Sad part is I could only shrug and go, yeah, that makes sense in hindsight. Oof. That's rough. Oh, it happens. Caboose. Glazy, stop making me agree with you. How can I insult you if I agree with you? Oh, you can always insult somebody even if you agree with them. That's neither here nor there. Yeah, that's that's fucking rough. That's fuck poor Dave. Poor Dave. Uh, 
Oh, uh, Film Ortho, thanks for the follow. Uh, mm, we're not allowed to use that term and uh, that word in that uh, in that uh, phrase in Karina. I had to pull it really quickly. <clears throat> so let's see. <laughs> I just saw Viscus's latest meme. God, I love his meme work. <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> Fucking Caleb, you need to get better at insults. Like a true Brit bonger. Ah, uh, so. They admit, okay, cool. All right, hang on. I need to add that to the Popo's Bizarre Adventures. I just found a new link. Uh, there we go. Goes with that one. Cool. Um, With the amount of time I've taken, uh, I've mistaken flirting as interest. If a girl just walked right up to me and said, I want to fuck you, I'd still probably assume they weren't interested. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. From what I know of talking to my straight dude friends over the years, you, you can't. You literally can't like you can't even if yeah, even if a woman walked right up to you and said, I want to fuck you, you can't assume she wants to fuck you, which is the craziest shit because it's a gay dude like, you know, dude walks up to me and goes, I want to fuck you. All right, let's go. People are getting laid like within the minute, right? Like this shit's for real for a gay dude. Sorry, like Target, the park whatever like you know casino bathroom like it just if you watch the sexuality of gay males what you see is the sexuality of males liberated that's it if you want to know for all of the women that are like oh my guy isn't a freak he's a total freak he's he's an absolute total freak it's just he works within the heterosexual paradigm if you freed him, if you truly liberated that that straight male and he became homosexual somehow magically, you'd see what he would get up to. Yeah. Like if you if you took the limitations off his sexuality, you'd see what he'd get up to in in the minute. Within the minute. He'd be like, oh my god, these apps are amazing. Right? Like I dude, the difference between like Bumble. And fucking OK Cupid and like Grinder and Adam for Adam and shit like that, right? The difference between the straight dating apps and the gay dating apps, the straight dating apps tell you usually within the mile of like people that you're close to, the gay dating apps will tell you within the foot. Somebody is 213 feet away from you right now, right? Like that, that's, that's the difference in the approach is the gay dating apps are like, they're right here. You want to do this? Right? Like, it's 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 a whole different world. It really is. <clears throat> yeah, you don't, know, was it comedian's line? You don't, uh, something like, you don't think he's freaky? Tell him you'll do anything. <laughs> Crick's not fair. Car accident, actually gaydar. Yeah, no, no, it is 100%. Uh, Caleb, grinder at raves is the best. Dude, like, I'm not kidding you. Like, the, our, the gay dating services tell you within the foot. They, they tell you, like, foot accurate, like, how far you are away from somebody within the, the plus or minus of your phone's GPS. That's that's how we roll. Like, it, it is a different world. And, yeah, if you think that your straight dudes are like, you know, oh, he's not that, you know, he's not into, or he never, he's never asked me once to, you know, it's because he knows what will happen if he asks. Meanwhile, you know, <clears throat> I think it was Fry, who's a grinder, is literally fruit by the foot. Take it. Ah. Uh, uh, by the foot. So if you know they're sleeping, you can triangulate their position. 100%. Uh, public, yeah. <coughs> you really probably could. Yep. Well, I mean, public, some of them like Sniffies. Yes, the gays have a website called Sniffies, by the way. S-N-I-F-F-I-E-S. -F -F -E 
sniffies. It's a uh, it's a cruising <clears throat> website. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Cishet Land, search within 50 miles. Yeah, um, it is a cruising site that will literally like yeah, it will on a map, on a map, right there. You're here. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Sorry, Rev. That sucks. Um, sad part, or maybe, well, maybe not. I still don't resent women for constantly tearing me down because I kind of get it. One creepy dude could be the difference between awkward sex and a missing persons report. <laughs> it's the missing persons report that made it funny, Caboose. It's the missing persons report. It's because it's nebulous. It's because it's not, like, it's not certain. It's not, like, rape. It's not murder. It's just a missing persons report. That's actually funny. Um, that's a proper setup for a joke. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I've walked into plenty of places and been blindfolded and tied up and shit like that. I've put myself in plenty of vulnerable spots. So, I mean, you know. I laugh or I despair. I get it, Caboose. That's that I get. Uh, can I find someone within five, uh, 100 miles uh, where neither of us finds the other repugnant? Says that dating apps. Yeah, I know, right? Meanwhile, the gay ones will, like, you know. Hyper specific, by the way. Hyper specific. I want a I want a versatile top who is has a dick size of six and a half inches or larger, who is five ten or above, who is under this weight, who has this amount of body hair on a body style this style, who has keywords of this in their profile, who is within one mile of me presently, has profile photos, and is online currently. Bing! Here are your results. On a map with photos right like i don't it's the amazon of dick it is i i i honestly couldn't be straight i couldn't be straight y'all put in too much work i'm too lazy for that <laughs> keep looking for keywords pulse that should do <laughs> dick dash um, you know, guy in my chat is named after the Buffalo shooter trying to toll a troll. Hey, like, are you, wait, AJ, are you in stream right now? The fuck, man? <laughs> How are you? Are you fucking chatting in my chat and you're streaming at the same time? Jesus fucking Christ. Hang on. I'm going over to your fucking stream, AJ. There's AJ. I don't think I've seen your punk ass. A battle to be had here. This motherfucker, he's playing, what the fuck are you playing, AJ? You fucking playing Final Fantasy X, sitting in my fucking stream chatting. Meanwhile, he's got his own stream going. <laughs> oh yeah, like... It's fucking Christ, AJ. This, uh, is, this is it. What's up, AJ? Oh, I was playing, uh... Hold on, hold on, let me put you on the screen. I'm gonna put AJ on the screen, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This play guy, look at me go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. What's up, AJ? Yeah, I've, I've got some. I've got some dude in my chat, like trying to fucking troll me. <laughs> Everybody, AJ, impossible politics. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh, streamception. <laughs> Grab this. So much going on now. <laughs> What's up, L? Oh, thank you for the Daddy Bezos bucks, L. Um, that's that's so awesome. Uh, anyway, well, AJ, feel free to send them my way too. I mean, share the wealth of the trolls. Hi, troll. <laughs> oh, oh, what's up, public loser and um, anarchist tech support? Oh, good to see you. Fucking, hang on. Yep. Let me throw him a follow, too. Fucking, yeah. where's, where's, where's your stupid fucking stream title that isn't fucking Hitler supporting? <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking Jordan boy. Like, head over to Proudly Radical. You want to get fucking rolled by other people? Go on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, interesting. 
Your name throws an API error. That's weird. God damn it. Every goddamn time. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah, your name throws a fucking API error for some reason. I don't know. Anyway. Oh man. Fucking yeah. I feel sorry for all you straight dudes. Hey, Pax, everybody's coming to hang out. Awesome. Oh, it's too bad. You guys like uh, you're flooding my chat when I'm, I'm I'm being trolled by some guy who calls me like a cuck porn fan. Because <laughs> I think all porn is cucked. Um, how is this, how is this not, like, just, just the username alone, how is this not, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's funny, cause, like, this guy's like, oh, you, like, ran to your box, and I'm like, I didn't run anywhere, like, Kai and I are just fucking grooving, there we go, yeah, I know, public loser, that's a, a hundred percent what I said to him, public loser, is just like, all porn is cuck porn. You're this is true. All porn is cuck porn. Um, oh, we can, we're not allowed to say that, boom. We're not allowed to say that. Come on. We're not allowed to say that. Anyway, um, fucking whatever. Um, so should we talk about the elephant in the room? Um, the buffalo shooter. So we went through the manifesto on Saturday. Saturday? Sunday. Sunday. Yesterday. Yesterday. We went through the manifesto yesterday and the uh, the stream clips. Uh, the stream. Yeah, it was yesterday. So, um, yeah, we, we looked at the, um, the, um, the, the stream video, which is rough. It's rough. Um, for the sensitive amongst us, don't try looking. Um... And yeah, we, we, we looked at this, this stream content from the shooter and, uh, we went over the, uh, the manifesto, uh, half of it is a shopping list. Half of it is literally a shopping list, um, with active coupon codes. I'm not kidding you. Um, there's like a gear list. He has his full fucking gear list on that manifesto and he's got like recommendations of places to buy stuff from multiple distributors and manufacturers. And he's got attached coupon codes. Um, that are active. I checked them. Um, I pulled up the the uh, the body armor um, section and went to one of the main manufacturers and checked both coupon codes attached. Uh, yeah, there's there's. I'm not kidding you. Half of the fucking manifesto is a gear list with shopping locations and coupon codes. You get sixty five dollars off a three A body armor plate. Um, that's basically like half price. Yeah. All in that dude's manifesto. Bunch of it's cribbed from the fucking New Zealand guy. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, I, we watch it in the video. Boom. Um, he, It's a white dude in a red shirt. He sweeps him, and then he pulls, and he apologizes to him. He says, sorry. He, he apologizes to the white guy for sweeping him with the rifle. Um, and, yeah, he, he fucking sweeps across him. The guy says, no. And he pulls and he apologizes. He's like, sorry. And he fucking, he swings over him. Yeah. Like it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, uh, it, like, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Crimson, not going to lie. I kind of got excited when you said coupons. Um, uh, Glazy. I read the manifesto. There's no, he, he explicitly states Glazy. He explicitly states um, what he is. It, there's 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 no like what are your views i would prefer to call myself a populist but you can call me an ethno-nationalist eco-fascist national socialist if you want i wouldn't disagree with you okay he he, he explicitly states he is an ethno-nationalist an eco-fascist and a nazi a national socialist you can call him that, and he will not disagree with you. But he would prefer to be known as a populist. That's, that's fucking... Just get the manifesto. Just get the document and read it. There's no speculation involved. Like, he, yeah, he literally self-identifies as a Nazi. 
Um, it's it's an interesting document to some extent or another. <laughs> Reading though, that's a lot of work. Um, why no cops stopped him on the way to his store? Um, in fact, that wasn't his first time to that store. He did several scouting missions too, by the way. He had a, a, an attack plan. He had everything. He had a diagram. He had attack plan. It was, yeah, he 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 had an actionable plan that lasted about three quarters of the the we'll call it a mission, right? As far as like military deployments go and you know battle plans go, that's fucking there you go. Um, <clears throat> so, but yeah, no, it's it's very explicit. Um, uh, as to his his statements um he he has problems with all non-white um what he calls replacers he when you know he has basically like a preemptive frequently asked questions he has like a predictive question section um to his manifesto of questions and answers and he, one of the questions is about why he didn't do anything about like, you know, non-white Hispanics. And he says, I consider them replacers as well, but you have to pick a target basically. And so he went with black. Um, the section against the Jews is larger in the document than it is uh, against blacks. Um, in fact, he has much more of a problem with the Jewish diaspora as is tradition um, than he does with the black, pop, uh, the black di diaspora. Um, in fact, he very explicitly spends quite a bit of time on, on Jews, uh, in the manifesto. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, it's, it's, it's an interesting read in some ways. Uh, it's always goes to the Jews. He's fucking going to leave the people alone already. What the fuck? Um, it is, it is an interesting document. He, um, he is legitimately an environmentalist, um, a hundred percent. Like he, he actually is, um, like, yeah, he is an eco fash. Like he really does give a shit about, um, about defending and protecting the environment for future generations. Um, this is, this will be uncomfortable for some of the Gen Zers because cat cat has been calling this for quite some time that Gen Z is far more conservative than people give them credit for and that they will be going eco fash on us. And he is an 18 year old eco fascist. Um, he explicitly states it that the, the, the environment is one of our most valuable resources and that it should be protected at all costs from capitalist manipulation and capitalist raping. And that like it, yeah, like it is, it is part of this document is an environmental doctrine statement. Um, there's no way around that. Um, it's very much, um, <clears throat> it's very much the, um, well, yeah, it's for the future white generations. Actually, Cupcake, he, um, <clears throat> in, he is an ethno nationalist um, in the classic sense. He wants everybody gone not dead he wants them gone he is his his stated position was for as long as you you reside in the lands of the white man you will not be safe um and he makes a distinction for culturally captured lands so like north america would be culturally captured therefore it belongs to the white people he does make that distinction actually um, but places that are like, you know, otherwise that like he it, it specifically states like Iran, Iraq, Syria, like he's like, those belong to those people. Those do not, you know, we have no say, no influence, that sort of thing. He, you know, there's some interesting distinctions that he makes, um, that you're like, that was more nuanced than I expected from this fuck. Um, but yeah, he, um, he of course delves into the, the black people IQ thing as, as they all do. Um, yeah, it's, there's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's weird. It's, it's, I mean, you know, it's a fucking 180 page fucking manifesto. Um, the, I found the most interesting section was the, the, the plan of attack, um, strategies for success. Uh, strategy application, the plan of action, the diagrams, the fucking weaponry plan. Like this dude was well, well thought out. 
He wasn't just like fucking willy nilly. From what I could tell, like you can tell, like he cased the store uh, uh, several times. He cased the store before the shoot of the day to make sure that everything was, you know, yeah. Like he knew to like keep his, like he was very well planned. I'm not going to read the fucking thing to you. I'm not going to go through it point by point, but he was the most well planned out of a lot of the shooters I've seen. Um, take that for what it is. F fearful, whatever. No, no, not at all. Got punk. He doesn't, Ted Kaczynski is a crazy lefty. Um, he doesn't, no, 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 quite the opposite, quite the opposite. Maybe some of the same concerns that uh, Kaczynski has within, you know, industrial society, but definitely not like he's coming at it from the other direction entirely. Ted Kaczynski, for all his faults, was just concerned about society as a whole and like the, the effect of industrialization and electronic uh, information age has upon it and whether or not we'll be able to hold it together. Um, fucking this guy's like, he has those concerns, but for white people, he's like, I don't give a shit about like the others. Like, I just care about that's, that's his position. So yeah, Kaczynski, strangely enough, was fairly, I don't know, non-racist, non, non-biased non in his, you know, application of whatever he was doing. Oh. And like the next next message you gotta send is like ew gross ew ugh. Oh, AJ is still dealing with an idiot. Uh, someone asked me that earlier today, couldn't answer it. Yeah, they they have they share some of the same concerns, but for all the different for all different reasons. Um, what's up, Deirdre? <clears throat> so yeah, it was it was a it was a it was an interesting read, frankly. Um, he is anti-capitalist. Um, he is anti-capitalist. He is pro-environmentalist. He is um, like that's 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 what you're probably not prepared to hear about the 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 Buffalo shooter is that he is staunchly anti-capitalist class. He is staunchly uh, against like authoritarian hierarchies controlling like the the citizens. He just who he considers citizens, by the way, is. Uh, up for grabs. <clears throat> Let's just put it that way. Um, but he is very much uh, pro-environmentalism, uh, anti-raping of the lands, anti-capitalist class, anti-shipping, uh, uh, anti-outsourcing, anti-disruption, uh, pro-union. Um, yeah, yeah, he's he's explicitly pro-union too. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he had he had been investigated before by the FBI. Bang up job as usual, FBI. Just a bang up job. Uh, just like the um, what's up nonsense. Just like the California, uh, F Florida dude, the Florida one. Uh, tell you once the right starts using lefty terms, they're gonna win big and then kill us all. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So let's get into this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you understand that I do not give a fuck? Like, I want to see, I want to see AJ perform. Hold on. Oh, uh, thank you, tech support. Yeah, like, like, I can't believe I've already triggered a MAGA this early into my career. Like, like, I, I've been doing this a month, and today was, like, a pretty heavy political stream talking about, like, Quebec politics, which, by the way, like, no one gives a fuck about Quebec politics. Public, I but agree. But this guy wants to come in here seething off his ass to be like, yo, F you guy. And I just genuinely can't understand so why, Canadian. like, you think I care. F you no, guy. Okay, okay, so I think you care a lot. Okay, so express that feeling. Why are you under the impression that I care? A, like, who are you? <laughs> what, like, why would I care about what you think about me, my guy? I'm and, and I'm like curious. I just had to check in. I just had to check in. You know, they're like your kids. You know, they're like your kids. You're fucking Jews. You I know. doubt it. I don't think Peyton and I uh... people people in their stream start streaming and start doing politics and start you know getting maga chuds and stuff like that. <clears throat> you know, you, they're like your kids. Tell me what it is. I want to. I want to check in on him. Uh, nonsense. That's impossible politics, aka AJ. 
Um, he's a stand-up comedian in um, Canada. He's in Quebec. And he does, like, politics, but with, like, a Canadian focus. And he's just started recently. Um, and he's got a he's got a maggot chud right now. Um, so I was just, I'm just keeping an eye on him. I'll link in chat. Follow, I'll follow AJ if you haven't already. Um, why does that name seem vaguely familiar? I don't know. I just have this weird feeling like, hmm. Oh. Anyway, all right. They grow up so fast. I know, right? Get back to your question. I want him. I don't know how this... See, for someone who's, like, taken over my chat, you can't even stay directly in line with, like, one conversation. You're just... You're just angry, and I don't know... Oh, uh, well. Um, good job following. I see those follows. I see those follows. Oh, fucking A. All right. What we got? Uh, oh, baby turtles. Or Yeah, I think they're turtles. I don't fucking know. Either way, baby turtles. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nonsense. You should enjoy him. He's a, like I said, he's, he's a, he's a stand up comic up in Canada. You should, uh, you should enjoy him. I mean, yeah, like, if you want, like, I've, I've got, now got a whole chat full of people asking you questions and, like, looking, like, looking to you to, to answer something. Uh, <laughs> did you see the black hole at the center of the galaxy? Of course, it's a Sagittarius. Uh, have, have you seen the Asatar bear infrared shit show on YouTube? No, I have not, Boom. Um, I just saw the, like, manic episode that, um, Haz was having, um, on Twitter the other day. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't watch it and you know it. Boy, sad boy coming here to be sad. Anyway. Oh, popcorn chicken, some roast tomatoes and leek garlic bread and a pickle and a pickle. Nice, Scott. Uh, he always has those, as is a man, a manic shit show. He is, um, it was rough. It was rough. Play any self-awareness. He's like, oh my God, that's like, ah, well. all right. So we've got, oh, I didn't do the window. Like I actually didn't do, usually I have, uh, a window of my links already ready. Um, I wonder if I can just. I can't. All right, fine. I'm going to have to like do these one by one, which is a pain in the ass. If you will bear with me for one second, I have to, I got my links ready for uh, Popo's Bizarre Adventures, but I did not get, um, I didn't get my, uh, my tab open uh, or my uh, browser windows open. Uh, for my Popo's Bizarre Adventure tags. Um, I do have... <laughs> uh, the lead story is uh, a, a, um, a police department we've been following for a couple of weeks now. Um, and it tickled me pink when I saw this story. The first thing I saw was a Bay Area cop, and I was like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Bay Area, come on, please be, please be, please be. And then they're like, well, it's Santa Clara County. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, that doesn't tell me anything. Um, like, tell me something about, like, you know, the, the location or the actual city, right? And then I'm just looking for a different article, and I'm like, there it is, San Jose. So for those that have been present for the last few um, Popo's Bizarre Adventures where we've been stacking San Jose Police Department stories, um, we have another one. They, uh, the San Jose Police Department is just on a fucking roll. Um, so I, I, when I came across it, I was laughing my fucking ass off. I was like, you're shitting me. Another one. 
Like they're just one after another after another. Um, and I'll go over this again. Like when I fucking uh, start popos. There we go. All right, that's that's me getting all the tabs done. Thank you for bearing with me on that one. <clears throat> uh, what the damn it? What the fuck is up with San Jose? I don't know. Did it be another? Yes. Um, it, it is. It is absolutely absurd. Uh, uh, Karina, yeah, San Jose is uh, S A N space uh, J O S E, San Jose. Um, I will Kaiser. I will. Okay, <clears throat> so suppose we should start Popo's bizarre adventures, right? Um, so yes, that is the correct spelling, Karina. Popo's, Popo's Bizarre Adventures. As I was saying, for those of us that have been following uh, San Jose, um, have been following Popo's Bizarre Adventures for the past couple couple weeks, sorry. Um, San Jose Police Department has had just a uh, fucking spree. Um, they had a cop steal a bag of drugs from a scene and then go home and do it, and it turned out to be fentanyl. <clears throat> and he died. He died of an OD. The next week, San Jose um, has a three-month-old boy kidnapped at a uh, uh, at an apartment. A uh, cop shows up drunk to that. Uh, also, a cop shows up and go peels off and goes to like the, the 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 side room and just starts rubbing one out. Right, another incident. A cop fucking one of their cops has a DUI on the freeway and has a little like bumper car session. All right. So that's where we are today as far as like San Jose goes, right? Now, what we found out is that, is that not? there we go. Um, what we found out is just yesterday, charges were filed for a cop a few weeks ago who showed up to a domestic violence call and masturbated there as well. So within the past few weeks, San Jose has had multiple cops show up drunk to scenes, multiple cops show up to scenes and masturbate, and a cop die of a fentanyl overdose because he stole a bag of white, he probably thought it was cocaine, from a fucking, uh, from a, uh, from a crime scene. Different cop, different cop, Aspen, different, these are all different cops, these are all different cops. Uh, Rev, no, it's a different one. These are all different cops. There's something in the water. Hint, it's Viagra. So, yeah. San Jose, is it like a tick, another TikTok challenge to rub one out at a crime scene? Ah, uh, the jerking it, cops. That was two situations in one, one month. F- fucking wild. Yeah. Dude, that's it's just... It's San Jose is just... Justice just gets them horned up. This is what happens when the cops can't get laid? Probably. Um, keep your fucking kids on leash. So, yeah, like San Jose just b- banging them up. I, I expect next week to see another San Jose cop <laughs> fucking tagged up for, for rubbing one out in a park or something. Um, all I can say is San Jose, keep up the good work. You make my, li- my life easier. Um, you know. Oh, uh, so let's, uh, let's just throw this buddy, this buddy's, uh, fucking picture, picture on the screen. Uh, everybody say hello to, um, what's this douchebag's name? Um, Joe Don Chitwood. This here, this here is Joe Don Chitwood. Joe Don Chitwood was a, uh, Oklahoma police chief who was taken into custody after he found himself on the wrong side of the law. You see, Oklahoma's Bureau of Narcotics, uh, arrested the chief of the Calvin Police Department because they were investigating methamphetamine distribution in the region. Uh, and good old Joe jo- Joe Don uh, Joe Don Chitwood here, Joe Don Chitwood was uh, <clears throat> well, he was um, helping um, sell methamphetamines in the county. Uh, also using, by the way, also using, <laughs> uh, so, you know, when your chief of police is running meth for the area, uh, for the region, Oklahoma, 
Oh. It is. It, no, it is. It is a t-shirt. Yeah, hundred percent. Um. And in other police news on the other side of the globe, checking in with our always, always fair and recognizing basic human rights on uh, the IDF and the Israeli police, um, the journalist who they assassinated, they assassinated her, they assassinated her, they murdered that woman. The, uh, the journalist who was in that coffin, who, they re, uh, who the Israeli Defense Force recently murdered, well, the Israeli, uh, Israeli police showed up and busted up the, the funeral processions and kicked the shit out of a few of the mourners. Um, Israel always making, making everybody look good throughout the region. Um, you can always count on these, on the Israelis to like do some stupid shit like this. And you're just like, holy fuck y'all. How, 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 how? So, you know, just some more of it. Uh, yes, Israel is trying to blame it on, uh, on Palestinian riders. The problem is, is that we have video footage of them doing this. Um, so it's kind of a difficult one to do. Uh, that's all I can say. Um, uh, uh, pff, they can, you know, the funerals, ah, I mean, that doesn't sound crazy at all. Um, so everyone, Everyone meets Special Agent Alexis Hatton. This is Special Agent Alexis Hatton. Alexis is an FBI agent. Um, Alexis was Special Agent Hatton here, was um, performing, a, um, he was performing a investigation. Um, he was investigating the Franklin County Sheriff's Office which would be Panama City, Florida, uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, yes, a spagent. Um, he isn't uh, Zippy. In fact, Special Agent Alexis Hatton here had traveled um, to uh, Carabel, Florida, in order to investigate the Franklin County Sheriff's Office because, well, there were numerous complaints uh, coming out about police corruption throughout that region. So the FBI was investigating. And in a roadside confrontation that was caught on body cam between Hatton and the deputies of the area, um, during six minutes, Hatton spent locked in the cruiser, um, he demand demanding to be released, um, Quote, I can't believe this is happening. You think this is funny. It won't be funny after today. The hour-long incident that's presently under investigation by the FBI, um, he had scheduled an interview with Deputy Rolf Gordon to talk about a ticket that was one of the elements uh, within the police corruption investigation that he was looking into um, that had been issued a few weeks earlier. Um the cop claims that he was suspicious that Hatton wasn't a special agent. And since the agent's vehicle tags didn't track back to where he expected them, I don't know what he expected an FBI special agent's car tags to track back to. Like it was going to say, like, was it going to be registered to special agent Alexis Hatton, FBI? Like, what did, how does he think we register our vehicles? Like that sort of level. Like, I don't know what they expected, but apparently they tra they tried to trace his tags and it didn't go back to where they expected. And so they're, they're claiming that they ran his name through a database and that he came up on the terrorist watch list. And that's, that's according to the sheriff. And so like, yeah. Um, so an FBI agent is investigating criminal police cor corruption in a county uh, sheriff's department in Florida. And the, the deputies try and arrest this individual under the suspicion that he's not an FBI agent. And when they get him out of the car, 
the um, it had spiraled to the point where Hatton would not put his hands down. You can see he actually keeps his hands up throughout the incident. And the uh, the officer, the agent held up his hands in surrender and, ref quote, refused to put them down even after the deputy said he could. Direct quote by Hatton, I don't want to be shot out here. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just a fun developing story. Yeah, just a just a fun developing story. Um The feds know how the pigs work. Yeah. All cops are dummies. Um yeah. Scared of their own dogs. They are. They are scared of their own dogs. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. I'm sure we'll get some interesting stories out of that as the months and year drags on. Uh, I need more water here. Um, we're not going to show the video. Um, the video is available on the Discord server. There's links in the cop watch section. Um, so Las Cruces, New Mexico killed a 75 year old woman with dementia. Like she, she, there was a 75 year old woman literally having a mental health crisis. Her family called for help. Um, and the fucking, uh, the cops went in and shot her like that's, I mean, that's the long and short of it. Um, <laughs> well, it looks like I found the corruption <laughs> and none of the cops out. Oh yeah. No, uh, the one of the cops just goes, I'm sorry for your loss, but they're going to go ahead and take her. Okay. To the fucking, like the family member. Um, yes, yeah, she was confused. She was f frightened. Um, and the cops just fucking stormed the fucking building and basically, you know, yeah, shot her. It's an old woman. It's an old woman. Fucking yeah. They maintain she had an, yeah, she was holding a kitchen knife. She's, she was holding a knife. It's a 75 year old woman in the middle of a fucking like dementia crisis. And the cops are like knife, but, but don't worry. The 18 year old shooter who literally like executed, uh, who, who fucking like went around and lynched a bunch of black people in a goddamn supermarket was taken alive by the cops. See when the 18 year old dude who had like clearly racist, intentions shot up a store with a fairly decent plan of action and put down a whole bunch of bodies. Those, those, those cops not fearful for their life whatsoever. He was captured alive. They weren't concerned in the least. They got him no problem, but the 75 year old grandmother who, uh, who has dementia, who's confused and just standing there with a kitchen knife, her, they fear for their life from. So they had to shoot her. They had to shoot her. Like, you know, that's that's just necessary, apparently. Um, next thing you know, they'll charge her for police-assisted suicide. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't even... What was her name? It's something Baca. Amelia Baca. Amelia Baca. Uh, and there's the footage. I don't need to watch it. Uh, I, dude, I, I don't care if she was fucking like this, like Jesus Christ, get a taser. <laughs> they just fucking dropped her. Like, it's, you know, she's 75 for fuck's sake. The taser probably do the job. Jesus Christ. Oh, so yeah. Good old, good old luck Crucis. That's, that's one thing you do have a problem with in, uh, in, uh, New Mexico zippy is Albuquerque. Um, like the Albu Albuquerque PD, I know by reputation alone. Um, I mean, you know, it's like any other place, right? Yeah. Your cops are fucks. Like, yeah, your state's like got some pretty based fucking policies that you guys have been pushing through, but your cops have a reputation. So Are you guys highest in uh, police shootings now? 
we had it for a while. We had the highest officer involved shooting rate for years in Las Vegas, but we got some uh, heavy press coverage. So they, they worked on that. Not, they just covered up better now. <laughs> hey, we lead the nation in Albuquerque. Mm. Yeah. Albuquerque PD. It's got a fucking reputation. I don't know anymore with her. Uh, I'd rather get stabbed than call the cops on a mental patient, at least in this country anyway, says Crimson. I know, right? So, um, so we've mentioned before the California sheriffs, um, the San Bernardino sheriff, um, fucking, um, Shannon Dick, Dickus, Dickus, Dickus. Dickus. Let's go with Dickus. Um, Shannon Dickus. It's it's a man, even though he's named Shannon. Um, fucking the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department has been stealing cash like highway robbers from logistics companies, um, fucking armored trucks that transport cash for state licensed cannabis businesses. Right. Um, Imperial Logistics has reached a uh, uh, a settlement with the San Bernardino uh, Sheriff's Department, which seized over a million dollars from Imperial's armored cars over the course of several heists. I'm going to, they were heists. Um, the Justice Department, which was holding the money pending fe uh, federal asset forfeiture, agreed to return all of it last month. Uh, according to a statement, Imperial and Sheriff's Department issued on Friday, both parties understand that each was acting in good faith when the stops were conducted. Wink, wink. Um, and have come to an understanding that will enable both sides to move forward amicably there. Um, they made off with, uh, three, three occasions. They made off with $1.1 $1 million. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It was civil asset forfeiture. Yeah. It was a hundred percent. Yeah. All my stealings done in good faith too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, no, they were actually acting as highway robbers. They, um, that's what they were doing. Um, it was an easy target. It was technically federally illegal. All they had to do was call the DEA, get a, like an agent approval. Um, what if Vegas cops see my stream and tell other cops about, po uh, other cops about Popo's Bizarre Adventures it is what it is, man. Um, if, uh, if another Ve if a Vegas cop happens to be watching this Las Vegas metropolitan police uh, department, I know you're one of the most corrupt police departments in the nation. I'm well aware of your record. Um, you were there during the occupy movement. Um, look back through your records. You probably have some full face photos of me because frankly, you were there attempting to disrupt and, uh, perform agent provocateur, um, uh, 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 actions within the, uh, development and, um, uh, uh, direct actions that we were taking within the Occupy movement. Also, I'm more than aware of your fucking propensity for shooting people. Um, you shot that guy right in between the eyes during the um, BLM protests. You put down that fucking veteran in um, Costco. Um, no, no hesitation. That guy didn't even have a gun and you guys just fucking summarily executed him. And then you took your police, to, then you took your, uh, press, uh, press resources department that's dedicated to dragging the victim's name through the mud and just try to absolutely ruin that guy and his family only for a couple of years to go by. And then us to find out that in fact, you have a department dedicated to dragging victims names through the mud. I know you, I know what you're about. I've got your fucking number. Um, and you know, if you want to, you want to start some shit, well, here I am. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. They're the predators. So it is what it is. <clears throat> uh, dig LVMPD, go fuck yourselves. Oh, we're going to, we're going to try and speed run Popo's Bazaar tonight. I don't, I don't want to be doing Popo's for like two and a half hours tonight. I just, uh, I'm just not feeling it, man. I'm just not feeling it. We're, we're, we're getting, we're kind of like in the 10, 10 story range now. Like we're kind of, we're coming a little close, a little close. Um, let's see. Um, this one, I think I need to move over here. Yeah. I need to move over here. Um, so let's see. Yes, uh, Anna, uh, An Anias Pagan, I think it's Anias Pagan, um, anyway, um, she's a woman from the Bronx, NYPD got pissed at Anias, um, when she, um, was recording them arresting her cousin, 
So what did NYPD do? Um, well, she was a 18 year old high school senior and they slapped cuffs on her and um, uh, planted uh, planted uh, uh, bogus. Uh, they put a uh, they put a gun on her. They put a drop gun on her and planted uh, like they planted a firearm on her for bogus gun uh, possession charges. Um, so yeah, yeah. The 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 New York uh, NYPD set up an 18 year old female high schooler with bogus firearms charges. Because she was filming them arresting her cousin. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, this isn't speculation. There's surveillance footage. As always. As always, there's surveillance footage. Um, fucking the 22 caliber firearm, the 22 caliber handgun that uh, the police said she had was found to have neither her fingerprints nor DNA, nor did she have any gunshot residue on her. And they, uh, you can see in the surveillance, um, uh, that they plant the gun. But according to NYPD detective Richard Clary, who said on his sworn affidavit court papers that he saw the gun drop from her waistband, um, he, um, as a detective, has been found twice, not once, but twice, not once, but twice, by two separate judges in two separate cases to have given unreliable testimony, meaning he lied. He lied under oath. Um, this is literally a classic case of planted evidence, um, and fucking like, you know, what do you want? What do you want? Ah, oh, NYPD, I swear. Yes. Here is Daniel Bannister. <laughs> Wither, you'd think there is. You'd think there would be, right? Um, yes, Wilhelm, just a couple of bad apples. This is Daniel Bannister and, and his wife, Catherine. Um, Daniel and Catherine Bannister here. Oh. <sighs> Daniel was charged with killing his infant daughter in 2018. He was released from county jail this January because, well, the judge excluded a whole bunch of evidence. Um, he, three-month-old Haley Bannister, he was charged with murder and endangering the welfare of a child that resulted in the death of his daughter. His wife was charged with reckless manslaughter as well as endangering. Uh, she also was freed from jail shortly before her arrest. Um, I'm sorry, shortly after her arrest. She was a teacher at a charter school in, uh, as well in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, sure, sure, her license, her teaching license, luckily has been suspended. Um, she, the daughter, um, suffered nine skull fractures, broken ribs, bleeding in her brain. Uh, Daniel here inflicted the injuries and Catherine knew about it and failed to report him or take the daughter to the doctors. Um, yes. Um, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, basically. Um, so... Haley was taken, I'm trying to get the timeline and straight in my head. Haley was taken via ambulance to hosp, to the hospital in Mercer County, December 5th of 2018. Jesus Christ. This fact that this case has gone on this long. Gee, if this was any of us. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dad's a cop. Yeah. Dad's a cop. Yeah. Um, Daniel here is a, is a police officer or was, or is, or whatever. Um, so 2019 May, 
after um, after Haley was taken to the hospital via ambulance, um, the prosecutor's detective started investigating that day when the hospital staffers reported her, uh, Haley's injuries. The girl died six days later um, in a hospital. But right at the beginning of the investigation, um, the, uh, the detectives arrested and confiscated the couple's cell phone and applied for a warrant to examine the calls and texts. Um, the information in the cell phones was quote, key to charging the couple in 2019, which revealed extensive communications about Daniel abusing the, uh, his daughter. The Middlesex uh, County Medical Examiner's Office ruled in May of 2019 that Haley died from blunt impact trauma to the head and that her death was a homicide. This September, though, Mercer County Judge Darlene Peretska suppressed the cell phone evidence, ruling that the detectives did not have probable cause of criminality to access the phone, this is according to Daniel's attorney. The prosecutor's office has appealed that decision to the state's appeal at, uh, appellate division, uh, and oral arguments are scheduled. Um, the prosecutor's spokesperson, of course, is declining since motion is up, uh, is uh, pending appeal. Um but the uh, the defense is arguing that Haley died. Haley was ill and died uh, from natural causes, not child abuse. You know, natural causes that cause nine skull fractures, broken ribs, and internal bleeding of the, the brain. Um. So you know, yeah. I, I the leeway that cops get. The leeway that cops get. It is astounding. Maybe she fell down a mine shaft. Uh, oh yeah, spontaneous cranial implosion. It's a, totally a thing. Um, so I don't know how many of you were following the lacrosse team story, but. Um, <clears throat> The Delaware State University lacrosse, women's um, lacrosse team um, was traveling, and was it Georgia? It was Georgia. It's always fucking one of these idiots. Um, <clears throat> Georgia law enforcement claimed that they stopped the bus for a minor traffic violation, and that um, deputies, uh, they, the sheriff's department claimed that they did not search the lacrosse team's personal items and that it was a minor traffic violation and that no civil liberties were uh, violated whatsoever. Now, now, the Delaware State University, uh, Delaware State University is a predominantly and historical, historically black university. Um, and the Delaware State lacrosse team is most assuredly predominantly black. So when those deputies took, stepped one foot on that bus and saw that they had a uh, bus full of young black athletes, I'm sure those Georgia redneck racist pieces of shit basically fucking lit up. They're just cha-ching. Like, they, they knew they were going to be on something. They were traveling home from a game from Florida by contracted bus. They got pulled over, and the deputies did what the deputies did. They, uh, quote one of the players, they didn't really ask us. They informed us of what they were going to do, and no one questioned them. We just left them to rattle through our stuff. Uh, a player on the bus that was heard to ask, how did we go from being in the wrong lane to going through our bags? Well, he stopped y'all. He didn't stop y'all for a traffic violation. He stopped the driver for a traffic uh, uh, violation. I don't know what that means. But nothing was illegal was disco uh, discovered. But the um, deputies, of course, maintained that they did not search the lacrosse team, uh, the the lacrosse team's uh, bags plane. whatsoever. Um, of course... Deputies. Stopping and searching the bags of a, a, a on board a shush shush. So, this is this is them using the dog, of course, to try and get. And oh look, the driver's black too. I can't imagine that having anything to do with it. And oh, uh, they didn't search any of their stuff, by the way. They this is all just uh, bags that happen to be out on the ground, I guess. Um, that they just happen to pull up next to. They didn't really. 
do. Mm, yeah. Nobody said anything. If there is anything in y'all's luggage, we're probably going to find it. They didn't really ask. Hmm, interesting. Here we are, fucking searching all the bus. It's funny how, you know, deputies will say one thing and then we'll catch the uh, body cam footage and it is the exact opposite time and time again of what they say they didn't do. Uh, police dogs are animal abuse. Um, police dogs are animal abuse. That is true. Oh, so... Cobb County, Georgia. Let's stay in Georgia for a second here. Cobb County, Georgia. The uh, solicitor's office has charged the uh, Georgia sheriff uh, of uh, Bleckley County um, groped a judge at a sheriff's convention. I, I don't even imagine. I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I, I fucking, oh fuck, I know a cop there. Uh, well, congratulations. They may be moving up in the world. Um, the judge was a guest at the conference. Um, and the uh, Bleckley County Sheriff Chris Cootie, C O O D Y, um, is literally gr like groped a fucking judge. Uh, Brown, the judge, uh, um, Fucking uh, Thomas Brown, not the judge, but Thomas Brown, who was the witness to the judge, um, said that Hatchet was a guest at the conference and Cootie, uh, Cootie groped Hatchet as he was introducing her to the sheriffs at the Renaissance Atlanta Waverly Bar. Brown said three sheriffs came up to, to the, uh, the stand-up table, including Cootie and the president of the Georgia Sheriff's Association. Brown said he turned his head away from Cootie and Hatchet as they were talking. Quote, as I turned to my left to focus back on the two of them, I saw his hand go down on her left breast. I grabbed his arm, threw it off her chest, and basically said, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Doing. And that's basically where it ended. She was my as uh, she was there as my guest, so obviously I was upset, obviously mad, and he was obviously intoxicated. So fucking Georgia sheriff at a convention for a sheriff gets drunk and fucking just randomly walks up to a, ju a female judge and just starts great gra grabbing her tit because he can. I apparently. Oh, you live in Cobb County. Hmm, interesting. Congratulations. Your former judge is a fucking psychopath. Uh, oh, actually, um, not Cobb County. It would be Bleckley County is where the, the psychopath fucking sexual assaulter. Your county is actually charging the sheriff. So congratulations, uh, DeZarco. Your county's fucking doing something about it. Um, but, you know, yeah. Hey, <laughs> why are you so judgy? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Is this, uh, I think this is the, this, yes. Um, I think this is guy, you know what? I'll, I'm going to, I want to, I want to research that story more. Uh, well, okay. I'm here too. <laughs> Fair enough. Correct. Uh, touching a judge is a good way to fuck yourself over. I know, right? Um, oh, this is just, this is the roughest story of the fucking, you know what? We'll end on it too. Oh, that may be, you know what? This may be, oh man. This is, all right. Yes. Uh, we'll end on this one so we can end on a high note and then there we'll go from there. Um, okay. So. Let's get these these fucking photos up because y'all need to see them. All right. So on the left is Felipe Santos and on the right is Terrence Williams. Um, so Terrence and Felipe um, fucking, I mean... Why people bother when I'm in the middle of shit? Um, Terrence and Felipe were um, in, um, they were last seen. <laughs> All right, fair enough, Marcus. Uh, Terrence, uh, Terrence and uh, Felipe uh, were last seen getting into the back of a patrol car of a, a Collier uh, County Sheriff's deputy by the name of Stephen Calkins. 
Um, they disappeared shortly thereafter. That that was the last that was ever seen of these two men. Um, no investigation has ever been done. No one's ever looked into these men's appearance. Um, it is one black man and one uh, one undocumented immigrant, and they are poof. <sighs> so, Starlight Tour. Marcus, 100% of Starlight Tour. Yeah. Yeah, like that's that's what's suspected. So. <sighs> so I'm going to just speed run this because this is going to be rough. <sighs> A 10-year-old girl in March um, a 10-year-old Chicago girl in March called 911 scared, terrified, worried for her safety, stating that her father was sexually and physically abusing her. The police responded and found that the off-duty officer, who was a member of the force for 21 years, was her father. He was taken into custody for aggravated criminal sexual abuse by family member, but by the end of the day when he was actually charged, it was only for domestic battery, a misdemeanor. Um, he was essentially given a slap on the wrist and let go. Um, yeah. <sighs> Missing body cam footage as well, by the way. Um, yes. Prosecutors refused to uh, pursue sexual abuse charges. No one knows why. Nobody has any reasons. Um, the the state attorney's office merely has stated that uh, the evidence was insufficient to meet our burden of proof to file f felony charges. Um, that's it. That's all they'll say. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, Rev, hold on to that moment of silence because this is the rough one. I'm going to read this one <clears throat> straight up. Ah, thank you, Crix. DA are cops. Prosecutors are cops. Judges are cops. Corrections officers are cops. Candace Gill, 38, and Edward Williams allegedly fled shortly before officers arrived at the Walmart in Monroe, Louisiana, uh, following a report of shoplifting. The pair fled with their baby, and employees told officers that they had stolen baby care items. When the officers later found Gill and Williams' vehicles, they said that the, uh, the driver turned onto the highway, accelerated. According to the court documents that we have, the officer pursued, activated his lights and siren, but the vehicle failed to stop. Shortly afterward, the car crashed, and Gill is alleged to have fled while police supposedly treated the passengers. The baby girl was taken to a nearby hospital. She later was pronounced dead due to her injuries sustained in the crash. Gil was later captured at an apartment complex, transferred, charged with two counts of manslaughter, aggravated obstruction of highway, four counts of negligent injury, theft, and traffic violations.
Yeah, no. AJ, that's fine. That's fine. Um, if you see, yeah, if you, just as a word of advice, if you, if you see someone stealing something associated with child care or food, no, you didn't. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. If those stupid fucking Walmart employees had realized that they're stealing from a god fucking god forsaken corpora- uh, corporation, shut the fuck up. None of this matters. All of that is insured. It's all covered by Walmart's own self insurance policy. It's not going to affect the bottom line. It does not matter. Just fucking twiddle your stupid fucking thumbs and look the other way because you got a you got a baby killed. Yeah. Yeah. You got a baby killed. Congratulations. That's, that's, I actually do put that on the Walmart employees. I do. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. None of that mattered. None of that mattered. It was baby formula and some wet wipes and some diapers. Shut the fuck up. You got a fucking baby killed because Walmart's loss prevention. Fuck you. Yeah. No, AJ, it's fine. I don't know. Um, oh, it's, yeah, it's not even, yeah, Nix, it's not even, it's probably not even that. It's, it's just, it's a non-issue. It's a non-issue. It's a non-issue. Yeah, they, they make it up, no, yeah, um, it's just, oh my God. Store employee led to George Floyd's death too. Yeah, I know, right? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> but, we're going to end Popo's Bizarre Adventures on a little bit of a high note. <laughs> it's a little bit of a high note. It's not it's not world changing, but let me introduce you so, um to po- Border Town Police Chief Brian Pesky? Pesci? Could be Pesci, could be Pesky. Don't know. Either way, uh, let me introduce you to Police Chief Brian here. Uh, Police Chief Brian. Uh, <laughs> Police Chief Brian uh, was out driving his Chevy Silverado, um, drunk as a skunk, and he got into a little fender bender and, you know, dry, uh, drove off. And, but he decided that he was clearly like he, he, he had too much. He knew he had too much. So he pulled his truck over. He got out. He laid down behind the truck and he went to sleep. He just decided to take a nap. Um, hey, is it not? Where's my we are on board? I don't know. Oh, Twitch chat is not connected. That's uh that's weird. Open, authorize. Uh redirect, send token, connect. Done. Yes. All right, there we go. Sorry that didn't pop, AJ. Um AJ just rated everyone. So yeah, the, the shout out doesn't work for Impossible's fucking name for some reason. I don't know what the deal is, but I've just been putting his fucking link in chat. <laughs> like literally Twitch's API system hates hates uh, AJ. There's the link. Go follow him if you're not already. So yeah, this is this is um, Police Chief Brian. Um, he, <laughs> he decided to just have a little nap in the middle of the road. Um, after he got into a bit of a, a, you know, bit of a fender bender, bit of a, bit of a hit and run, um, you know, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Popo's Bizarre Adventures, everyone. All right. Midlife crisis. I it, it kind of it feels like it, right? Like it feels like he's just a little burned out. Oh, all right. So AJ, 
Did you bring me your refuse? Do I do I inherit one? Oh, what we got? What was that guy's name? I forget his fucking name already. I don't think they came over. I don't think they came over. I think. Uh, yeah, I think I think he fled. Ah. Uh, all right, give me a sec. I want more water. I'll be right back. Oh. All right. That's a shame, though. All right, I kind of wanted to play with your toy and see what he was about. Oh, well. Oh, we need to do some uh, reading. We need to get Proudhon. I, I, dude, we've been behind on that like a couple of weeks. Mostly ad hom and nothing else. Oh, that's okay. I can, I can play with that. I'd be surprised. Um, Crimson, falling asleep outside the vehicle is a solid you have a drinking problem move. One of my stepdad's friends pulled that at my mom's wedding. Oh. <laughs> uh, Marcus, depending on what your level of interaction is with somebody, it doesn't really matter at that point. Um, oh, fucking A. Dude, I don't want to read all <laughs> today. I don't read. Dude, I, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling, mm -hmm. let's see what we got. Hang on. Close that, close that. All right, so that's chapter two, right? Subsection, subsection, chapter three. How many pages is that? It's ten pages of full page. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Chuck literally had a bed. Should have slept there. Eh, you know, he's a little hammered. He used to lock my college friend in his car when he'd get wasted and take his keys. Uh... Friend used to end up in cupboards or closets. Crick said, "Jesus Christ." Uh, I would. Um, well, if it was ecstasy, I'd be in the bathroom. Like I'd have a tendency to curl up in bathrooms while I was on ecstasy. Alcohol, I tend to find beds. I don't know why. It's weird. Um, whatever. As long as he didn't drive anymore. Exactly, Deirdre. I'm. I'm. You know. I'm okay with it. Um. Ah, you're welcome, AJ. A little piece of advice. No skin off my back. I'm glad it helps you. 
Um, some tanky was sort of trying to talk to it about anarchism. They mentioned Chaz Autonomous Zone. Any thoughts? Uh, Chaz Autonomous Zone is a uh, temporary autonomous zone. It wasn't intended to be a permanent autonomous zone. So, like, you have to understand it within that context. And if you don't understand a temporary autonomous zone and what its intentions and purposes are uh, to teach people a more hierarchical or a non-capitalist modalities of operation within it um, and then be dissolved, then you don't really understand it. Um, so, I mean, I'd have to see what their critiques are of it and what they were saying as to, you know, proper counters and dips to dodge and that sort of thing. Um, it looked like he peed and slept about being uh, belting up after by the picture. No idea. Didn't pay that close attention to it. Uh, I was in the parking lot of the bar. So I knew he wouldn't go anywhere. I know I could hurt him. So he couldn't hurt himself. And I could drive home when my shift was done. Fair enough. Uh, Rev, I used the Janet Reno defense once. I was sleeping in my car. I just parked for the night and cracked a beer. Cops showed up. I told them I, it wasn't a motorized vehicle because the keys weren't in it. I mean, technically, that's true. Um, oh, man. I really just don't want to read for Dawn right now. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's just I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Um, so, came home, kicked my shoes in the closet and smacked my roommate in the face and the, who yelled, then yelled gibberish. Hilariously, I closed the door and let him sleep it off. Um, Yeah, they could have got me. Guess their quotas weren't due that night. Right? Um, okay. So. Ah. Let's see. Um, there were stories outside of the popos that I wanted to talk about. Um, oh, I didn't add that in. Uh, either way. A um, couple of shootings. The church shooting. The Houston flea market shooting. The one that we all know about, of course. Um, uh, how about that? Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I just have to play this for you. Like, I, I know this is sort of mean spirited, but I don't care. Those emojis honestly should be illegal. I've been emailing Apple every place and... Those emojis honestly should be illegal. I've been emailing Apple every single day to remove the meat emojis. Why? Why is fucking Reddit's video player so it's, goddamn? And those emojis honestly should be illegal. I've been emailing Apple every single day to remove the meat emojis from the iPhones, and they're not doing it. I don't know why they're not doing it. I've been emailing them every single day to stop putting the meat emojis in the phones like it should be illegal it's offensive to me and it's triggering to people like me who are vegan <laughs> and it is so triggering i love that the video is taken from the perspective of somebody putting the, the meat emojis in the chat <laughs> the, fact that the guy's copying and pasting and pasting and pasting that he's one of them the, i mean i'm sorry I'm sorry. Like, this little queer has fucking so many difficult lessons to learn. So many difficult lessons to learn. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. I, I the, the privilege that is dripping in that voice. I email them every day, and I don't know why they don't take them out. <laughs> Oh, sweethearts. Oh, Pookie. He is absolutely in for a rough fucking wake up call. Um. So the tech uh the Texas law that allows users to so so that allows users to sue social media network uh, networks uh, for censorship is now officially in effect. Um. <coughs> so. I again, we we talked about this. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, we talked about this um, last week. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, we'll see. Uh, Caboose, I, I have no idea how it's going to get enforced. But, you know, once, Calif uh, once California... Once Texas has power, uh, once Texas has its power grid up and running again, and the, the, the courthouses maybe have electricity, um, we'll see what they do. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Um, is this, yeah, Sri Lanka is um, <clears throat> getting upset. Um, Sri Lanka has been having a little bit of, uh, shall we call it civil unrest. And as a result, they're, um, well, engaging in some direct action. So politicians, uh, are having a rough time of their comings and goings, as you can tell by the Range Rover. Um, Yes. Um, I do have a video. Let me try and find. I don't remember where that was. Um, I think it was. Oh, I just had seen it. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Forgive me. There we go. Here is um, here is one of the politicians' houses in um, in in Sri Lanka. Um, <laughs> God, the fucking Reddit player is just fucking miserable. Jesus Christ. Uh, tankies are authoritarian losers who do nothing but stand failed uh, dictatorships. There we go. All right. Here is, um, here is the Sri Lankan um, politician's home. Um, how is it a protest if it can't be, if it can be ignored? Well, Carpe, I think you'll be happy with this protest. Um, I think you may, you may, Carpe, I think you may, <laughs> Carpe, I think you may have your first like old man erection in quite some time. Love you, mar love you, bro. <laughs> Here is here is here is footage of this politician's house. Well, was footage of this politician's house. Here's footage of this politician's house now. <laughs> if anybody wants the video <laughs> if anybody wants the video there you go the link is in chat um yeah they torched it all they torched it all <laughs> oh no <laughs> duck uh diamond pants <laughs> <laughs> Told you, Carpe, you'd enjoy that one. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Uh, yes. It, what a shame. Um, reminds me of that fucking, was it fucking that Marcos shit in the Philippines? Dude, they're still missing like $5 billion. Did they, did, was that a thing? Did the, did the Filipinos elect Marcos? Was that, did we, was that confirmed? I forget. Did we get final numbers on that that night? Fucking who did the Philippines uh, elect? Was it what's her name or fucking criminal dude's kid? Um, that surprisingly was not a fever dream. Okay, so they really did elect the Marcos kid. Jesus Christ. Still missing like five billion dollars from that family's grift, but all right, kid. All right, Jesus fucking Christ. I how I 
No, 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 dig. Uh, he's not a kid. He's a grown ass man, but he's a grown ass, a grown ass man who is the son of a dictator who ran like martial law in the Philippines for like 15 years and stole like $10 billion from the country privately, not like to his buddies, not to like the military industry, like pocketed $10 billion. Um, and so the Philippines just elected his son. Oh, and Duterte's fucking daughter as vice president because they elect them separately. Um, good job, Philippines. Good luck with your fucking incoming grift. I, I, I don't even, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I don't. I have no idea, Carpe. Probably not well, but not as bad as like the Marshall Islands or anything like that, right? Um, I'm gonna have to. <sighs> I'm gonna have to update the Philippines, hot or not, it represented from his dad to him, aren't I? Um. Either way, they had to choose from a madman and son of a madman. That's rough. I, wait, wasn't the opposition to him? It wasn't Duarte. Duarte Duter it wasn't Duterte, um, Burger Man. Duterte's at the end of his fucking um, term. He can't run again. It wasn't between Duterte and fucking Bong Bong or whatever the fuck his fucking stupid ass name is. It was, yeah, the opposition was a woman and she wasn't like nearly as bad as fucking grifter dictator McGee's kid. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't that kind of choice. They, they, they... They chose. They chose. Yeah, they chose the son of the dude who fucking disappeared half their fucking journalists and murdered like tens of thousands of people or some shit during a martial law um, and stole $10 billion that they think. They think it's $10 billion. Like, you know. Yeah. And now um, the guy who is in charge of uh, the investigative committee who's responsible for returning those uh, those funds, what's up, Brad? Uh, as well as the group that's responsible for the criminal investigation, he's now in charge of both of those. So I'm sure there was no self, uh, there, was, there was no, um, you know, there was no self-interest, no conflicted interest in that whatsoever. Good job, good on you, Philippines. It's not bon bon, it's bong bong. For those, bong bong. Uh, f uh, his name is Ferdinand, but it's B-O-N-G, B-O-N-G, all one word, bong bong. That's his name. It's not bon bon. It's not like the chocolate, you know, the lovely chocolate treat. It's, it's bong bong. That's, that's the man's, what he chooses to go by what he chooses to go by. His actual name is Ferdinand something. Oh. Do I? Ha. Go fuck yourself. Ferdinand... Rum, uh, Rumoldes Marcos Jr. Because Catholics. So super duper weed smoker. <laughs> I know, right? Ah, uh, you wish. This dude's no fun. This dude's no fun. So <clears throat> the Germany, uh, the the Germanies, the Germanies, the German C Chancellor met with the uh, Japanese Prime Minister. All I'm hearing is water pipe, water pipe, and not a little state. The ja the German uh, the Japanese Prime Minister met with the German Chancellor um, last month, and amidst increasing discussions surrounding Russia, North Korea, the uh, Sea of China, um, and all of the in increasing tensions in the region, the Japanese uh, Prime Minister asked for a favor from the Jap uh, from the German chancellor can't could he help get rid of this statue 
This is a statue that commemorates and memorializes comfort women. Now, I duly noted, Karina. <sighs> Comfort women were an element of Japanese imperial conquest throughout the region. They would capture notably Korean, Chinese, uh, I do believe Okinawan as well. Um, throughout the region, the Japanese would capture what they called comfort women. Oftentimes young girls uh, and women of younger ages. And they would use them not only as sex slaves. Very much they used them as sex slaves. They used them very much as sex slaves. They would use them for torture. Just full on. Like full on, let's fuck, fuck them up torture. Um, the Japanese still refused to acknowledge the crimes that they committed in the form of comfort women. Um, and they do not teach this. They refuse to acknowledge it. They just try and sweep this under the rug. And this statue exists in Berlin. This statue is a, a statue that was put up that is in memorial to the Japanese sex slaves and torture victims that were com called comfort women. And it exists in a park in Berlin. So while, while all of these other things, the collapse of the Japanese demographic, the birth rate collapse in Japan, the global economic inflation situation, rampant corporate corruption, Russia out of check, China constantly a threat on Japanese shores, right? <clears throat> all of these things that are facing us during their meeting in uh, last month, this is the pressing issue that the Japanese prime minister felt that they needed to ask the, uh, the German chancellor a favor for. This is how this was listed. She asked him for a favor in helping get rid of this statue. This is where Japan's priorities lie amidst all of that. But, 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 but their face. Yes. For those of you who don't know what about, uh, about saving face, very much saving face. <clears throat> they do. They care so much about face. It's ridiculous, Carpe. This is the, one of the biggest foibles of that region. So, yes. Worth mentioning. That's, that's amidst everything. That's what it was. Uh, a Peruvian community is attempting to fight a Chinese copper uh, mine for their community, uh, for their uh, land back. <laughs> Those of us long timers will fucking love that. Here is the indigenous community of, uh, well, uh, Juan, uh, Juan Quere. Juan Quere. Sorry. Um, but. Yes, that'll do. Okay, like. That's the opposite of what I want. Anyway. So, uh, the community of Fuera Bamba in the Andean region of Peru was resettled eight years ago to make way for the giant Chinese-owned copper mine in a $1.2 billion scheme billed as a model solution to, pro uh, to protest dogging the South American mining, uh, South American nation's mining sector. Uh, so basically they resettled the community. They forcibly resettled the community. Um, and now the community wants it back. Um, and they're fighting for it this time. Um, they stormed the Las Bombas mine, pitched their tents near the open pit, forced a halt in production at the site. Um, the site uh, supplies 2% of all global copper supplies. That's not a small number. It's, a, it's actually a really big number. Um, they were then joined by the Juan Query community, which is nearby, protesting the expansion of their land as well. Um, yes, yeah, straight up pulled in America, 100%. Um, so if that's 2%, three, hold on, I can figure this out. That's $60 million. 
60 million dollars a year um so I wish them luck I wish them luck Pookie, Pookie, oh, bless your heart, bless your heart, bless your heart, Pookie, I, good luck to you, good luck to you, um, let's see, oh, um, I actually heard some, um, what was it, um, who is this guy, Blakey? Uh, B Blakey, right? Um, AJ, if you're still here, uh, Daniel Blakey for the DUP, DPU, D -f 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 MP. Uh, let's see, he is. I forget what party he is. Uh, but he's one of your Canadian uh, MPs. Uh, NDP, NDP. I'm like, it's not the DUP. That's the other assholes. The NDP. <laughs> Um, I saw a speech by Daniel Blakey, um, by the NDP in Canada. That was like some base ass shit. He straight up was calling it, calling out investment, real estate, like, um, and like investment, uh, real estate and management groups and the corporate, uh, uh, fucking, oh, the almost socialists. Yeah, dude, he was straight up calling it out. It was a good speech. He was like, dude, it's not foreign investors. He said, yes, we need to deal with foreign investor, uh, inf uh, investors. Um, but, like, it's a small drop in the bucket. The problem is, is corporations have been buying up all of our um, all of our real estate in Canada, pricing out, pe uh, you know, private citizens. Yeah, like, he seemed like he, he, it seemed like if he was, like, in my system, I'd be happy to have him. I'd be happy to have him. Uh... Foreign investors, yeah. Uh, yeah, DUP is right-wing Northern Irish. NDP are the left-wing Canadians. Yes, thank you. Um, hmm, interesting. Like I said, I don't know anything about him. All I, all I saw was this Blakey guy speaking on the issue. Um, so. Oh. Did you just admit that you're banned on Twitch? Like, do you realize what we have to do as like channel owners now? Like, our terms of service dictate otherwise. I love the NDP seems like the best option we have. And honestly, some of the smaller NDP leaders are millennials, which is helpful. Uh, uh, are you millennials, which is helpful for me. Interesting. <laughs> Carpet, you're not shadow banned. You just suck. Um, Y'all saw the nine-year-old kid with the whip? Like in the dad with the firearm and shit? This is the craziest fucking shit. Fucking, it is absolutely. Reddit seems to be having a moment. Reddit seems to be having a moment. All right. Hey guys, so check out this video of this 
little boy coming to my house, beating on my door with a whip, trying to attack my daughter. Take a look at this. Also, please like, share, and comment. I love the TikTok. Welcome to Nashville. Yeah. Little boy, you better get your ass from off my porch beating on my door like this. I will call the police. You need to leave. Don't you ever beat on my goddamn door like that. Go. Okay. So as the video progresses, my husband goes over to speak to his father the about what just took place. The Take a look at this. Come, come over here. Of course she's black. Yeah, the fucking family is black. The fucking... The kid's white fucking shows up at the black family's house banging on the door with a fucking whip. He has a gun behind his back. Because you ain't, because you ain't coming over here talking nicely. You're accusing my son. I'm showing you the video. We're showing you the video. You ain't showing me the video of me scratching your car. Get off my plant. That's my vine. That's my vine. Get off my vine. Baby, get off the vine. I didn't go, go there. Oh, I'm not him worried vine. about this dead ass okay, vine. Thank you. Wait for it. I don't, I don't owe you shit. Fuck you. I, oh, bet you, I bet you want to bring your motherfucking ass. Can you please yeah, stop, sir? Oh. All we want to do is just on, talk to you civil. You want, that's the problem. You and your kids want to play fucking victim. Your son came over here. Guys, so I was literally in shock. Baby, please, no. Your son came over here with a fucking whip. Bring his ass over here again. Please. What the fuck happened? You have a gun. Come over here on my side. You have a gun. We called the police twice. Luckily, this time he went to jail. Come on, let's do it. No, baby, get back. Oh my God. This idiot pulls the trigger and almost shoots himself and his daughter. Oh. Everyone, the voice of reason in our nation. Yeah, you know you can tell what kind of parent he is. What kind of what's going on, dude? That little white boy came over to the black family's house, banging on the door with a fucking whip. And when they go to confront this guy, he fucking discharges his firearm, almost hitting his daughter. Sure. Little wannabe slave plantation owner, Glazy. Um, fucking shoots it and later says, uh, they, they said, he said, that's what I thought because people said it was accidental. Yeah, no. Yeah, I know. Right level. Sounds about white. Mm, just one shot going off. Would have started a fucking riot here. Hey, kids just casually do that shit there. Yep. Yep. Um, Americans are the worst kid control. Yeah. Here in BC, NDP won the provincial election by the Green Party last minute, giving all their votes to the NDP. Even I found it a sketchy way to win, like the party wanted to win, did, but it uh, doesn't mean it felt okay. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I own a whip, but for the Indiana Jones roleplay, I don't own a whip. I own a flog. I own a cane. Um, I own a paddle. I own a leather strap. No whips, so. though. I had a whip as a kid, though. Of course, I didn't um, go around to buy my black neighbor's houses banging it on their door because I wasn't a fucking little racist psychopath. Uh, how many whips? I I don't think I've ever been whipped. Um, whip it. Whip it good. Um, gunshots are just background noise here when I live in the country where that's normal. That's yeah, true. Oh, so you admit China and Russia are capitalists. Got it. Cool. Um, anyway. Uh, in fact, uh, yes, Kaiser. <laughs> kind of. We kind of did. Um, compact baton. Uh, hippie crack. Whippets are fun. Whippets are fun. You've been hit by a billy club. Interesting. Um... I had bet by granny. My, my dad found out that shit. Never happened to me again. So this dig. Uh, okay, beast. Gunshots or fireworks? My neighborhood. Uh, mine, it's fireworks. It's fireworks. All right, Karina. Do, go do your makeup. Let me know when you're done. Um, no, wrong page entirely. Nitrous oxide 
does not have a 33% death rate. <laughs> Fucking lazy. Where do you... <sighs> Hang on. <laughs> the annual death rate for nitrous oxide glazy is 36 people a year. That was for 2020. And that's for from the Office of National Statistics. I where do you get what where do you get some of this shit, Glazy? I always wonder. Um Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, long-term abuse and use can lead to Olney's lesions on the brain, for sure. It's not great for you to do, like, long-term, especially industrial-grade whippets. Like, industrial-grade nitrous is not good for you. Um, but there's ways to get better quality. So. Oh, yeah, level, for sure. Oh, yeah, did you see fucking, dude, they found, they found microplastics the size of fucking sesame seeds in somebody's lung. That was the craziest shit. Um, A new study found tiny plastic particles no bigger than sesame seeds buried throughout human lungs, indicating people are somehow inhaling plastics lingering in the air. Lauren Jenner, a postgrad researcher at Hull York uh, Medical School in Britain, was the lead author of the study. We found a gr far greater number of microplastic particles than we were expecting. This study underlines that microplastics are everywhere. While previous research had found microplastics in lung tissue gathered from cadavers, this was the first to locate plastic particles in the lungs of living humans. Uh, for the study, scientists collected tissue samples from 13 patients undergoing surgery, finding microplastics in 11 of those patients. So... I mean, it's not a huge N, but it's 85%. 11 out of 13, that's 85%, 84 something, but 85. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, polypropylene, um, PET. Uh, polypropylene and PET were the uh, the two commons. Um, so, so, are we doing gas masks soon or what? It's dude, it's fucking yeah. The authors, the authors uh, of the study did not expect. We did not expect to find the highest number of particles in the lower region of the lungs or particles of the sizes we found. This is surprising as the airways are smaller in the lower parts of the lungs, and we would have expected particles of these sizes to be filtered out or trapped before getting deep into this uh, into this portion of the lung. Yeah, it's in the food, it's in the drinking water. We recently found microplastics in human blood. And now we found them deep in the lung tissue. Not good. Not good. <clears throat> it's something. Um, <laughs> did you see Russia lose that entire battalion on a bridge? It's fucking... It, Dumbest goddamn shit. They lost an entire battalion on a bridge. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is what winning looks like, everybody. It's definitely what winning looks like. Uh, 36, gen uh, 36 colonels, nine generals. Um, some of their most advanced weaponry knocked out of the sky, being pushed back continuously, um, losing the battle in Kharkiv. Um, F Finland and Sweden now joining NATO. This is, this is what Russian victory looks like, everyone. Um. Oh. 
Oop, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Solidarity with the poor working people of Russia, Ukraine, and the world. Carpe, I'm in that camp, but at this point, the Russian like invasion of uh, Ukraine is the funniest war in my lifetime. It's fucking stupid, right? Like, uh, Ukraine now has more tanks than when they started. That's insane, right? Like, there, Ukraine. I called this at the beginning of this stupid war that Ukraine is going to end up with more land than when they started. That they're gonna like, they're gonna just they're, they'll take back Crimea and shit like that. Um, so yeah, yeah, they should have stuck to the online propaganda shtick because they bled their military dry. They the, the oligarchs have been draining the funds. Yeah, Ukrainian farms and more tanks than any of us. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane to watch this from an outsider's perspective. <laughs> this is all a Ukrainian tank collection conspiracy. <laughs> Oh, uh, and now, I mean, Putin's looking rough. Putin's looking rough. He's not looking good. That motherfucker's, he's sick. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to speculate, but that's not what a healthy human being looks like. So, splotches on his face, swollen fingers, constant ticks and spasms on the left-hand side. Yeah, no, that's not, not the picture of health. Uh, he got a stanky leg. He does. Um, Russia believed their own imperialist hype from Chechnya and Syria. Fucking morons. They did. Dude, they thought they were badass, like, big dick mo swinging motherfuckers. And meanwhile, the rest of the world just sort of chuckled. Like, it, we finally had enough. Like, yeah, whatever, Russia. Good luck with that. We have nukes. Yeah, do you? I'm not even... I'm not even sure they have, like, do can they even launch those nukes at this point? Have the nukes been sold off to some, like, Chechen terrorist somewhere to, for the, for, to buy another yacht for a Russian oligarch or to build another wing on that Putin mansion that he's been ripping off the public for? How much does that mansion cost? $1.2 billion or some shit like that? Um, Putin's, Putin's salary is, um, hold on. Putin's salary. Putin's salary is 454000 um, uh, $454,000 a year. Here is the $1.4 billion compound of Putin's. You know, on a $454,000 a year um, salary, Putin has, has managed to afford a $1.4 billion palace. Um, totally on the up and up though. Totally on the up and up. I, I'm sure there's no grift going on there whatsoever. Whatsoever. <laughs> oh, fucking ridiculous. Uh, he's been in power problems. He saves good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Glazy, I've seen the insides. It's actually kind of ugly. Um, it, it's it's not that great, Glazy. I gotta tell you, like, I, I feel you that you're kind of like, you know, yeah. honestly, it's kind of trashy inside. Um, I mean, your call. Oh, yeah, the location's great. It's right there on the Black Sea. I agree, Glazy. The location's great. It's gorgeous. But, like, this is the typical ostentatious, like, ruler's palace. It is. It's gaudy as fuck, Carpe. It's gaudy as fuck. Like, it, you just... Yeah. There are better buildings than that. You're right. It does look like a cruise ship dining room. Holy shit. Yeah, you're right. It does look like a cruise ship dining room. Um, yeah, but the location is gorgeous. Glazy is correct. The, the location right on the Black Sea is just astoundingly pretty. Um, and all of the facilities attached to this place, uh, are amazing. Um,
but you know uh how do they spend that much money and still it's hard to look at i you know money doesn't buy class zippy money doesn't buy class the fuck sends me i don't i don't know who you are i don't accept friend requests by people i don't know uh too much yellow for me but i like it otherwise for a hotel not a permanent residence Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Zippy, if I said your name in that first sentence or something. Um, I christened the look Yacht Core, the aesthetic of elite everywhere. Interesting. Crazy thing is that they had eight years to invade, but let Ukraine just get vets from fighting in Donbass and gave them time to build up a better army. They're more than 200,000 reservists with experience now. Um... Oh, Pookie, I don't talk to I don't talk to tankies. You can take your Holocaust denying, uh, gay bashing, uh, gay bashing, uh, misogynistic, wife beating bullshit elsewhere. I I don't, I don't, Pookie. I'm not even. I see you have tagged me and you have said something to me. I'm literally not going to read it because I don't engage with people who are bad faith right wing authoritarian dickheads. And yes, you are. You're a right wing authoritarian dickhead. Fucking hoping. Uh... No, you're right wing. Tankies are all right wing authoritarians. Come on, Hass. Come on. Yes, you're my good boy. Oh, it's been a minute since we've heard tankies coping. Oh, it's been a, been a minute since we've had somebody uh, a tanky stupid enough to set in a uh, set foot in this room. So, yeah. Don't you have some farmers to go murder? Some kulaks to starve to death? Yeah, I don't know. You know, maybe some anarchists to turn your back on. Uh, some anarchist deals and treaties to sa uh, stab uh, allies in the back with. Um, oh, maybe you have an anarchist club of Moscow to artillery shell, or maybe some uh, machine gunning your uh, your fellow revolutionaries in the streets with. You know, any of this stuff ringing bells? Anyway, um, good luck. Okay, so we did all that. We did all that. Um, yeah, preach, preach, preach. Uh, fucking, uh, I adore her, Rebecca Gomertz. Um, she's the 55 year old Dutch, uh, physician who has spent literally years fighting for abortion access, uh, around the world. Um, she has her, she has the abortion boat. Um, dude, isn't even a real tankies, just a red capitalist in denial. That's pretty much most tankies. Um, so like, yeah, um, fucking Rebecca, Rebecca Gomer, it's like, she, she is a based ass woman. I've, I fucking adore this lady. Um, she has a uh, women on waves and aid access and she has, uh, she has the abortion, uh, boat, uh, where, uh, women on waves, they'll, they'll shore up in international waters and offer abortions to women in like shithole backwater locations that don't allow easy access that generally have a heavy Catholic bent to them. Portugal, Spain, Mexico, fucking Colombia, shit like that. Right. Poland. Um, but, uh, she has stated that the U S is now on her list and she unequivocally will keep sending abortion pills to women in the U S. Um, so yes, she, she is, absolutely not backing down and she is in fact doubling down and she's like yep the u.s is now on our list we'll be uh making sure that we redouble our efforts there and provide services where they need be so fucking sh uh, shout out to her um nothing but respect for the woman there we go jesus fucking christ and that one 
That one. And that one. Oh, I I should die. Let's just 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 for a second. Just for a second. There she is. There's there there's Doctor Gomerts. Gomerts. Yeah. She queen of queen of fucking Chad City. Yeah. She I adore her. So good honor. Uh, pirate abortion radio, Carpe. <laughs> yes, dude. The good old days of fucking pirate radio. Yeah, no, she's she's been doing this for like years now. Like she does not fuck around. She's a badass. She's fucking, I, I'd call her. She's a badass bitch. Like she she is. Like she does not she does not back down. Like she will sit right off the coast of your shithole country in a fucking vessel in international waters and float people out to her boat to get them abortions if they need them. <clears throat> is TwitchCon fucking coming up? Is it a thing, Lazy? I don't even fucking It's back IRL. Yeah, interesting. San Diego twenty twenty two. October. Tickets aren't even on sale. So, I don't know. I have to see how much they are. <clears throat> this country is embarrassing. <laughs> Abba John, it is. It is. Um, yeah, it is. No, it's in October. It's just tickets aren't on sale. So, I don't even know. What I'm, like, I'd have to know how much they are before I even said shit. Like, what's a TwitchCon ticket usually go for? What's fucking... How much money is Twitch actually trying to, like, make off a of fucking TwitchCon? Yeah, it's San Diego. It's San Diego, Aspen. That's... Hmm... <laughs> mm. Yeah, I might go for a day. I'm not going for a fucking weekend. Uh, what's up, Puka? It's not worth hundreds of dollars. It's charged that. It's not worth anything, Blazy. Um, all right, cool. Fucking tech support, um, timed out. Whatever, idiot. So, um, whoever has been arguing with fucking Tanky McGee here, I'm sorry. You're going to have to at least wait 10 minutes. Um, I don't think they have the, the chutzpah that it takes to fucking wait the 10 minutes, but whatever. Um, either way, minimum of 10 minutes, maybe you've lost your play toy. Because generally speaking, these types of fucking idiots are, you know, their attention span is focused only because they're receiving attention. So... We'll see. <clears throat> I'm still tripped out that uh, that shooting at the California church was a fucking Chinese national against Taiwan. Crazy as shit. Uh, oh, yeah, no. No, of course they're not. Um, Yeah, dig. They're, they wouldn't go on air. That's not how that works. Um, it's okay. I've already had this argument with them. I should stop banging my head into the wall. You should. You most assuredly, should. <laughs> most assuredly should. Um, that. All right. Well, that's neither here nor there. Then I suppose. Um, yeah. I fucking. I saw a great uh, article on Slate, I think it was. The headline alone caught my attention. Um, <clears throat> after 30 years of turning, uh, turning abortion clinics into war zones, now you want civility, right? I, 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 really, I really love the, the conservative call for civility surrounding the, uh, the abortion topic. It's like, motherfucker. 
you pipe bombed abortion clinics. You shot doctors in the rectories of their churches. You fucking terrorized women and providers the country over. Right? Like, you... And now, because people are protesting outside your fucking houses, you want civility. Civility left with the pipe bomb. Okay? Civility left with the firebombing. Civility left with the targeted assassinations. Civility left with the harassment campaigns. For decades. Fuck you. You're lucky we don't go full on this. All right. Right now, you're just your lives are just being made miserable. That's all. It's a mild inconvenience to your existence. Go fuck yourself. Um, oh yes, yes, yes. Specifically, Gord. Yes, the Supreme Court did say it was legal to protest outside of abortion centers and doctors' homes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, what's up, Bri? Go full Sri Lankan on you. That's that should be just the the, the go to. It's like don't make us go Sri Lankan on you, dude. We'll go full Sri Lankan. Um, I've never been very civil. I'm not about to start now. It's Deirdre. Uh, waiting for those Dems to outright call for civility. I mean, that's fucking. I'm pretty sure Pelosi did some shit like that, right? After it kicked off, Pelosi fucking started running her mouth off about it. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, the house fit was. Uh, um, but God forbid you put chido- a, a chalk on the sidewalk. I mean, really. <laughs> um. I would love to know. She's not even the worst of them. Feinstein's the worst of them, Caleb. Feinstein's fucking... Feinstein's literally fucking... Um, fucked in the head. Like, properly. She's dementia-ridden. She doesn't... She has no idea what she's doing and where she is. And, like, sincerely. Like, there, there's Feinstein's... Like, Feinstein's falling off the bones, says Carpe. Yeah, Feinstein is... Feinstein's bad. Feinstein's bad. We can't get rid of this bitch. This bitch fucking hung a, a confederate flag in san francisco the feinstein literally fought to ha- fly fly not just hang but fly a confederate flag in san francisco of all places right feinstein is just a garbage human being and has been a co- on the corporate take for decades now and now this bitch can't even get up And give a eulogy for one of her friends. She's at a fucking funeral. And she's supposed to give a eulogy for some person that she's known for years. She gets up and does some rambling fucking speech. Never mentioning the person who died once. Sits back down. And you can tell that the, like, staffers got a hold of her. And were like, homie, it's a eulogy. You gotta, like, you gotta give a eulogy. She gets back up. (coughs) Gets back up and gives a eulogy, only she does the entire thing in the present tense, talking about the person who had died as if they weren't dead. She's just up there talking about them, about how, like, oh, they're a great political activist, and they do this and that, and they're, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah, she she literally, like, spoke about them in the present tense the entire time. She didn't, didn't even know, like, she's at a funeral for this person, and she doesn't even realize they're dead. She's gone. She's just gone. And Pelosi immediately fucking comes out and just starts defending Feinstein. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Sit your ancient ass grifting cunt down. Fucking how much is Pelosi taking us for? How much is Pelosi worth? Somebody's going to know. She's like worth, what, 150 million, something like that? Jesus fucking Christ, that grifter and a half. She's running for another term, by the way. Fuck me. Wait, Pelosi or Feinstein? 114 million. Jesus fucking Christ. 114 million. Oh, yeah, Glazy. Dude, Feinstein has grifted a ton of cash. <laughs> She's grifted a ton of cash. Yeah. Um, Feinstein. Feinstein's running for another term. 
Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Hey everybody, she's going for another term. You know, she is a young sprite. She's just a young up-and-coming whippersnapper who's got a lot of spunk in her still. So she's got a lot, a big agenda that she wants to work her way through and she's got the energy to do it. Moisturize me. It's because she's three minutes out from being a corpse for fuck's sake. Oh, here's even better. This is this is this high energy that we're talking about with Feinstein. Honestly, I think my 90 year old grandmother with early stage dementia could do a better job. No, I don't think she could latte, but she'd probably do the exact same job. Huh? What? Where am I? Just being guided by staffers. <laughs> if she tripped, she'd crumble into a pile of dust. Oh yeah, she'd snap a hip. No problem. Uh, <clears throat> she wears vibrant colors to disguise her dullness. Oh. Um. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> William H. Macy could play her in a biopic. <laughs> oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I kind of... Number one thing that comes up for Diane Feinstein, by the way, is memory issues. Um, actually, you know, he probably could. Oh, Jesus Christ, Karina. Get your ass on fucking stream so I can take an early early knee. Um, little makeup and a wig, I'd buy it. Yeah, no, like 100%. Yeah. I wonder if she had a staffer Google Diane What's-Her-Face. Um, same person. Oh yeah, Macy do a good job. He Macy would do a good job for sure. <laughs> It'd be a great comedy. Macy is a bumbling aging skexis. Oh fucking a. Mm, yep. <clears throat> I love this this headline. This is the a pair of headlines, I should say. This is great. Tennessee legislature passes budget to include new deal, uh, include deal for new Titan stadium. Tennessee lawmakers slash proposal for moving schools out of floodways. We got, we got money for the fucking to move the football stadium, but we don't, <laughs> we don't have money to move schools out of floodways. Oh, Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. Just keeping keeping up the good work. Keep 
Keeping up the good work, Tennessee. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> Best learn to swim, kiddos. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's basically where we are at this point. It's ridiculous. Um... Also, somebody uh, somebody posted this photo. Um, you gotta get your priorities straight. All right. Uh, gee, I wonder what demographics those schools are. I know, all right. <clears throat> mm. uh, they just fired the Raiders manager for the SA situation, and we just fired uh, for the sexual assault situation. We just fired the Golden Knights manager too. Interesting. Um. Due to the increase in food costs, we can no longer accept coupons at Subway. Please note that the su that Subway corporate does not reimburse us for the cost of coupons. <sighs> if they have to trade water in class all day, does that mean they won't be a gym class anymore? Counts. Double credit. Oh, and this. So it's a coop off. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> then there's this. No. Yeah, corporate really doesn't uh, imburse, uh, reimburse them. This. I had no idea this was going on, but holy shit. This is, this is fucking brilliant. Fining native Hawaiians $500 for washing their cars because uh, there's a water shortage but uh, due to too many tourists being on the island. Like, you know, I could, I could think of a solution or two. I could think of a solution or two. Just saying. I'm sorry, does the tanky, how the fuck is weed decriminalized in Mississippi, but not Florida? Because Florida is a shithole, Glazy. We keep trying to tell you. We keep trying to tell you, man. Place is a shithole. Um, <clears throat> the tanky's fucking talking about uh, places deserving, uh, deserving full national self-determination. <laughs> After what Russia and China get up to, the tanky is fucking talking about self-determination. Cool. Cool. <laughs> the amount of indigenous populations that the uh, that the Russians put down alone, not to mention, I mean, if we start talking about the Chinese, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I mean, fuck, fuck Tibet. Just start with Taiwan. Yeah, what happened to the Crimean Tartars again? Oh, fucking, or the Kulaks, or the fucking, you know, or just fishermen up in Kronstadt, right? What happens when just a fisher, a bunch of fishermen are like, hey, um, we'd like, about that whole, like, you know, dictatorship of, dictatorship of the proletariat? Hi, we're the proletariat. We'd like to be in charge of some of our own labor. We'd like to, we'd like to be, you know, involved in that. Um, oh, oh, you're just going to march us all out into the woods and execute us in mass to the tune of 2000 people in pro basically one night. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. That's again, that's the people's extermination squads. I, I adore tankies, the most hypocritical pieces of shit walking the planet. Second only to Republican slash conservatives in America, um, with about the same rate of kitty diddling though. Um, based on, you know, Stalin's behavior alone and his propensity for touching children. Uh, <laughs> that's, you know, but the, the Republican slash conservatives in this nation do have a little bit of more of a propensity for kid fucking um, than the commies get up to. So at the end of the day, I suppose, you know, yeah, body counts are kind of comparable, though. Body counts are definitely kind of comparable, except for when it comes to anarchists. 
Um, in fact, the capitalists have killed less anarchists than the fucking communists, um, historically. So when it comes to that, you know, beloved left unity that they love to mouth off about all the time, um, there doesn't seem to be much of it. Um, so yes. Ah, oh, Deirdre. Glad to be here. Yeah. No, I mean, Russia and China historically are some of the most imperialistic assholes on the planet. China especially. China's imperialism is writ large. Chinese imperialism is staggering. The amount of purges and ethnic cleanses and genocides and territorial conquerings that China has gotten up to in its history and then tankies fucking all defend it. <clears throat> yeah. What about Taiwan? What about Taiwan? In fact, I could argue that Taiwan is the de facto true governance of China and a rule uh, is the ruling um, government in exile. In fact, I could go so far as to recognize Taiwan as to be the true of uh, uh, true capital of China, I suppose. Um, because, I mean, that's that's how Taiwan came to be was it's it's rule. It's a it's ruler in exile. Um, and then they, they successfully transitioned from a dictatorship into a democracy. A crazy democracy, too, if you've ever watched Taiwanese parliamentary proceedings. Um, respect. Uh, but they, uh, they managed to actually transition that shithole to uh, a decent, halfway decent functioning democracy, unlike what um, China has ever managed to do. All they've managed to do is embrace neoliberal capitalism in the form of quote-unquote dengism. And managed to embrace the worst of both worlds. Now we have authoritarian communist dickheads and we have capitalism. Yay! What great fucking, what a wonderful, and don't miss me with that. It's a step in the process bullshit. You can miss me with that Leninism nonsense. Homie. <laughs> you fucking, oh, fucking... Of course he's American. Of course he's American, Kaiser. I bet he's white, too. Fucking, oh, last night he was Eastern European. Now he's now he's American. Funny how that moves around. <clears throat> it's not a step in the process if you stop walking. Oh... <laughs> uh... Uh, AJ, these chats make me feel like way less of a basic bitch. Oh, so white nationalists? Yeah, I mean, dig a little bit. Yeah, yeah. They're usually racist as fuck. They, um, they, they exempt. They, they exempt the. Uh, I have some knowledge apparently. Yeah, um, they tend to exempt East Asian um, from their white nationalist rhetoric. It's hilarious. All right, Zippy, take care of yourself. No, no, M9300 has no idea what it's like to live in China. Um, oh, we're not going to ask him to define fascism. That would require him to actually read and know something. Hell, I'm, I'd be surprised if he can define capital, uh, capitalism and communism. I, I'd be shocked. So, yeah, we're just burning time till. uh... <clears throat> fucking true yeah like what what do, what do i expect a fucking tanky to know something that's that's not that's not what it's gonna be like that <laughs> uh we're lucky they're not fucking banging up and down like a like has um so they don't know they never know anything but that's neither here nor there Wrong key entirely. Wrong key entirely. I kept using words like um, like he knew what they meant, but come to find out he defines things uniquely. Yeah, that's pretty much par for the course with, you know, these dickheads. I mean, I don't even realistically believe he's a true tanky. One, I, I, this, this idiot who defines himself as a tanky can't define tanky. Please tell me the origins of the term tanky. 
Where does tanky come from? Why do we call you a tanky? What are the characteristics of a tanky? And why, 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 why are tankies called tankies? What's that all about? You call yourself a tanky. What is a tanky? Where do we call that? Where, where, where do we get that from? Why do we call tankies tankies? Anyway. <clears throat> so Karina, I think, is live. I think she's live. Hey, nope, try again. It's in reference to that, but it's not. Yeah, Caleb's correct. It isn't. It comes from 1956 in Hungary originally. No, it doesn't. It comes from Britain. <clears throat> it is uh, It is a reference to the Communist Party of Great Britain for members of uh, the uh, CPGB who defended the rolling of the tanks in Hungary. So, congratulations on catching up. Homie, you already fucked up. You already fucked up. So, anyway, we're going to go over to Karina. Um, I don't need to play with fucking tankies who don't know shit about shit, even of their own. Um, so, just, just future reference, don't come back here. You're not welcome here. Nobody likes you. You're an authoritarian dickhead who's responsible, whose ideology is responsible for the genocide of millions of people. And honestly, the fact that you're running around as a stupid American who's never even been to China, standing Russian and Chinese government is kind of sad and pathetic. So get a fucking life, go touch grass and never come back here again. Anyway, we're going to raid out to Karina, who is streaming now. Um, and um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to fucking call it a fairly early night as far as streaming goes. Um, oh, let me hit the, the button. I got to actually. Oh. <laughs> I just read it out. Hey, well, this is what it is.